I'm Tim, and welcome to Watch You Want. Thanks for logging on. Juan Pablo Montoya, Rubens Barrichello, Michael Schumacher, Sebastian Buemi. One of these people is not like the other. Although they are all Formula One or former Formula One drivers, Sebastian Buemi is the one who is not obviously a Formula One star. But he is one thing that the others are not, and that is Swiss. Hailing from the Swiss canton of Vaux, he grew up right next to the Audemars Piguet factory. So naturally, when he ascended to the ranks of F1's super license holders, Audemars Piguet was more than just a little bit excited, making him the fourth, uh, rather the fifth driver to receive an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Signature Series, one of 250 produced for the 2011 model year. This Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Sebastian Buemi in titanium with ceramic bezel is actually one of the finest efforts to come out of the Royal Oak Offshore Limited Editions, and it stands shoulder to shoulder with the epic Montoya, the Barrichello triplets, and the Michael Schumacher. Even the Yarno Trulli, with its unique tantalum case, isn't obviously at any advantage over this newcomer's signature watch. Now, a 26 Seb Buemi story has yet to be written already a winning driver in World Endurance Championship with the Toyota Le Mans program and a winner in the debut season of the Formula E Revolutionary Electric Car Racing Series, Seb Buemi is an innovator and progressive and no doubt when he was helping to design this watch in 2010 some of that progressive, innovative and a little bit offbeat taste came through. First and foremost you'll note that for a watch designed with input from a guy who was 20 at the time this watch is remarkably discreet, restrained, tasteful, and attractive. Now, the shocks of yellow on the seconds and minutes track of the dial pay tribute to Seb Buemi's signature color. Most of his helmet is yellow, so he wanted a little shock of that. It also aids legibility, making this one of the most legible Royal Oak Offshore Limited Editions. Everything from the heavily dished concave tachometer scale, which is also gloss for high contrast, to the mega tapisserie in black and the multicolored multi-tonal multi subdials makes this one of the most readable, usable, and practical offshore chronographs in its capacity as a chronograph. Now, in its capacity as high style, you can see the watch on my wrist that's a six and a third inch wrist, uh, 16 centimeters for those in the Canton of Vaux who are using the metric system. The watch fits beautifully, and a big part of that is the fact that it's a titanium case, and it's also fairly cushion or even a little bit tonneau shaped, so it spreads its minimal mass quite evenly, sits lightly on the wrist. It's an ergonomic triumph in addition to an aesthetic success. I also want to call attention to the fact that the Seb Buemi, we're going to get that minute hand out of the way, there we go, the Seb Buemi features the Royal Oak, what's known as offshore diver strap. This is the natural rubber vulcanized pin buckle strap that originally debuted on the offshore divers, the time only editions. And for those who have smaller wrists, who prefer a more supple feel and fit and a tighter fit, uh, the rubber is the way to go. Compared to the alligator hornback, the more common Royal Oak offshore strap, this one curves more tightly, more easily. This one conforms more easily. It sits lightly against the skin. And with the pin buckle and multiple different pin holes, it's easier to get a secure and exact fit, far easier than with any double deployant or deployant clasp. Now, in terms of aesthetics, the delicate treatment of the dial, the multiple tones, textures, depths, the use of color, it continues on the bezel and the case itself. Now, the case is predominantly sandblasted titanium, so a matte finish. But what you get, in addition to that matte finish, is delicate monometallic contrast. So while there is that sandblasted lug top and case flank, there are also these smooth, sliver-like polished sections that add a little bit of gleam, a little bit of high contrast, continuing into the bezel, which is indelible ceramic. You see that although it is all black ceramic, it's polished on its flanks, it's brushed on its tops. Again, contrast, but within one tone. The white gold Audemars Piguet Royal Oak bezel bolts, they were present on the Gerald Genta original, they're present on the offshore, they're there, and against a black material like ceramic, a black matte material like ceramic, the polished white gold is a gorgeous contrasting element, very much a machine aesthetic appropriate to a watch that's Formula One themed. Now, Buemi also wanted to pay tribute to Formula One engineering and materials, hence the use of high-tech ceramic, just as you'll find in the exhaust shielding, just as you'll find in the brake systems on F1 cars today, as well as the use of titanium, which is ubiquitous in structural metals and engine construction. 
In addition, the watch's case back features a deliberate tribute to Seb Buemi uh, in two forms. First and foremost, you see his name, and there is an individual numbering engraved on the case back itself, but his personal logo is visible on the display case back portion, and the 22 karat gold engraved winding rotor is here blackened gold for another example of high contrast. Now you can see the movement. I want to expose the balance first and foremost. It's part of the highlight of this caliber. This is the Audemars Piguet in-house caliber driving a Dubois de Praz vertical clutch chronograph module. It's a very fine movement featuring over 300 parts and 59 jewels. But the highlight to me is this free sprung full balance bridge escapement because the offshore as a sports watch should be sports watch tough. In the past the JLC 889 base base movements were fine movements, not necessarily the most rugged. Today, the movement is both fine and rugged, with a 55-hour power reserve, free sprung balance, full balance bridge that's anchored on both sides, not just one, it's not cantilevering out. There's no index to be moved by a shock that could change the timing of the watch inadvertently. It also features ceramic winding rotor bearings, lubrication-free, maintenance-free, designed to last the life of the watch, which, just for reference, is far longer than any human lifetime. The movement's also beautifully finished with black polish, Cote de Genève on the bridges, a tight, even perlage pattern on the base plates, beautifully beveled and camfered and drawn edges on everything from the screw slots to the edge of the bridges themselves, and radially and circular grained wheels. Gorgeous finishing, befitting a holy trinity watch manufacturer. Along with Paddock and Vacheron, Audemars Piguet is part of the Swiss Big Three, and that shows through in the quality of this finish. The Seb Buemi is beautifully finished front and rear. Again, Seb Buemi is a youngster, but he's a Swiss hometown hero, and for Audemars Piguet, I have to say that seems to have inspired them to new heights, despite the fact that, as I said, Seb Buemi's story as a motorsports competitor has really yet to be written. He's only 26 years old. He's heading back to Le Mans this year. But the bottom line is he's already left a fantastic horological legacy. See this watch, an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore that really has it all in both the figurative and literal sense on WatchYouWant.com, a remarkably memorable and cohesive Royal Oak Offshore limited edition. It's also sold through our website with all original factory boxes, manuals, and documents of provenance. See this Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Sebastian Buemi limited edition, one of 250, on our website, Watch You Want.